All right, second time's the charm. I uh, started recording a moment ago and uh, my mic is muted. Hey, <laughs> good stuff. Woohoo! Which is about as, uh, yeah, good stuff. Woohoo! As I feel about this episode right now because um, it's been a couple of days since I did the last recording session. Took some time to give us more feedback and, and plan for things in the future, like the Final Fantasy 14 videos and talking to a bunch of artists and getting things commissioned. But um, I forgot we only have two people in our caravan. Hello, internet friends. My name is Adam K, aka Bay, and we're playing The Darkest Dungeon 2. And it's just me, the third, and the judge who are friendly toward each other. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're screwed. <clears throat> just absolutely screwed. Two people. We're on the tangle. You also notice above my head, we've got uh, the full loathing, uh, which uh, I loaded back up the game. And Wayne June, of course, was just like, the loathing consumes. And I was like, okay, great. That's, that's, that's fantastic. I'm just going to sit over here then and wait for that to end. Okay. I'm just going to sit over here. But we're just going to do this thing. Um, good thing I'm lit by natural sunlight right now because, uh, soon both of these characters will be in the proverbial, uh, darkness, uh, forever. So we're going to go with we the, must keep moving. we have to avoid the watchtower. That's all we have to do. So we're just going to go the most lit paths which we can't really do and we have to do combat oh we're you know what let's just get this over with before we start a new run because we're this is this is just a this is just an absolute train wreck complete complete maybe we can get something done and progressed in this one but i have no idea hopefully oh i found some bread on the side of the road and Mia just called the judge a buffoon or himself a buffoon? I have no idea. We're just going to die here. Here we go. Forgotten outpost. Let's do it. We can fight. We can fight and they get vulnerable. How fragile they appear before our solidarity. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> if you can see him. Pikachu is hiding not only from the natural sunlight because it's a vampire, <laughs> but also from this recording. Because this, 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 this is not, oh, oh, okay. Well, that... While the heart still beats, desire will never die. Never mind. <clears throat> the judge and Mia the third just fell in love right before they died. How poetic. Because this is not going to go well. Can you make these dudes bleed? You can. Who has the most health? This guy is only one of them procced vulnerable. Excuse me. Well, I, this, it, it's, uh, you procced weakened because you have every debuff imaginable. I mean, this guy said, you know what? Just hit the front line. We're going for just click forehead. That's fine. Don't you die on me. Well, good thing you procced a heal when you're at full health at the start of the combat. Feeling a little Ace Ventura energy going on right now. Yep. That was like right in the tit. Okay. Yep. Might as well shoot the same place you just did earlier. This guy still has a block token. Also, I had a dodge token. I had a dodge token. Excuse me. I had dodge tokens game. Now, now proc the heal the other way around. Well, okay then. This is I, I just need a uh, 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 just just so little damage. Just hit him. Good stuff. Good good stuff. So sitting down to prep to record for today's episode uh, will probably be. Oh my good googly moogly! You got debuff, but you have the debuff resistances okay there we go amorous proc but you got debuffed right in the tit i mean i can't heal anyone so this is death's door immediately i can heal if i get a corpse i mean we'll have to absinthe here and just stand there and wait a whole turn wonderful thing oh good dodge 
But I'm sitting on the prep for the episode today. There was a new poster they just got released for Spider-Man: No Way From Home. No, No Way Home. No Way From Home. No Way To Home. No Way Home. And uh, why are both the real, real fake fan-made poster and the also real, very fake? fan-made poster the one that there's just a whole bunch of jpegs of like every spider-man but what I, I posted it today in discord it's just like all three spider-man in a corner with every spider-man suit and, and, and obviously an explosion and uh <clears throat> william defoe green goblin with a purple scarf on we got sandman back there we got the old green goblin from the old 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 spider-man movie we got of course doc ock in the corner looking just incredibly handsome Got a whole bunch of floating heads because that's how all movie posters are just floating heads doc ox you gotta you gotta be in my discord and look at this stupid picture uh, the lizard man is there too now that i'm looking through it what the heck just every freaking thing you could think of jammed into one poster and then of course the official one just has that little png in the corner of of green goblin just like boop, you know just put boop. is that the original green goblin png from the old game even old game the old movie even just like the one from like 20 years ago basically they just mcu just reusing pngs now but it's really funny because it's just the exact the exact tone you would think for a spider-man movie where every character is you know on a green screen they just plop them all together but the fan made one where peter parker is in the center and he's being like constricted in hell by the doc ock claws and the the goblin bombs are coming in there's a whole bunch of electro lightning on one side it's so good but apparently it's fake like it's a fan-made creation but it's so good yeah it's even it's even tagged at the top of it i just noticed now by the artist that made it it's so good i mean it's them trying to say you know hey marvel <coughs> hire us to make your posters <laughs> But it's actually incredible we could go for one of these heels here dead of night i mean we're surviving i don't know how long we'll, this is going to be a test of how resilient wow two damage how resilient the the death blow gameplay is going to be here but come on come on oh in the nipples why do they keep shooting him in the nipples and we can go for one of these really not cutting the mustard on that damage right now but that's because you have a okay teetering on that terrible precipice. how long are we into the recording not even like eight minutes maybe there we go we're double death's door just ring that bell baby oh it didn't die um you know what no i don't think i will yep yeah, okay yep sure yep all right oh proc the uh defense block token very nice could go for the absinthe here but uh no i don't think i will oh brilliant my love oh good lord heal each other no down one stress literally bleeding out in front heal him oh <laughs> i don't know what that was But it was something. We're just, this is like when you get into a battle in like an RPG, like a Final Fantasy game or whatever. You took the hit. This is my kind of foreplay. Aww. What the heck? I mean, we're, we're dragging this out because we can't do anything about it. So when Wayne June comes in here and says like, it's getting awful in here or something, you know, those lines when I'm basically sitting, you know what? We're going to go, you know what? We're stealth and dodge tokened. Get dodged on. Maybe. Apparently, apparently not. No dodge. Uh, dodge. Pikachu, good thing you can't, you can't see this right now because you're looking through my shoulder because this is just... What is a dodge token? But a chance to be XCOM'd. Uh, bonk him? 
they have no death blow resistance so they just die i mean we were surviving it i have no way to heal our highwaymen all right death door again perfect well you know what that, that you know what they say dead of night heals you from death door that's what they say that's what, that's what the, a lot more. of people are saying that right now i mean okay i mean point blank shot dummy excellent work added combo so that'll make this have a huge crit chance and i didn't crit of course because it's a chance to get xcommed sure hip shot <clears throat> right amorous proc more healing for free no D that, you know Critter where critters do, Mia the Third and the Judge are definitely literally dying here, but at least they are definitely pulling a uh Scavenge what you can and be off once more. They are pulling a bit of a Titanic right now. Alright, cool. The loathing spreads. Okay, so it it it, it went back one. Amorous relationship, that's fine. Didn't use any of their items. I don't have anything to heal them. Like in combat stuff. We have. No. Just have offensive things. And what's even next? Where are we going? Oh, more combat. Great. Sure. Bring it on. Emperor's new groove quote. Right before they hit the waterfall. Just let's. Let's just do this thing. Oh, what's our torch at? 72? Buffoon? Who's the buffoon? I think <clears throat> Mia the third is talking to himself. Only buffoon here is this this run. All right, let's try that again. Big guy? Maybe a big guy this time. Okay. Now, oh, <clears throat> this will hurt your relationship now? Why will this now hurt your relationship? Is it a harder battle or because the torch is lower? We pull the loathing down one. Do we run? No, we look over here at the Spider-Man No Way Home poster again. It kind of bothers me that the like the hair manipulation on Benedict Cumberbatch to give him that like you know the, the pompadour like what I've got going on with him. He like pulled the strands down to you know be on the side of his forehead. Looks so very stitched in. Very strange. I mean, it's just like when you pose food in a in a food commercial. It's not real. Like the mayonnaise is actually like Elmer's glue or something, and then all the the sheen on the fake meat patty is done with uh, with clear like sealant nail polish and stuff. Oh yeah, look at it. If you don't know about <clears throat> if you don't know about food, uh like photography and, and videography for, you know, fast food chain commercials. Oh, it's gross. I mean, it's definitely not edible food anymore. But I mean, also, you, if you didn't, you know, I don't know why. Let's just run. Why not? We'll see if we can get anything unlocked in this run at all. Basically, if we can survive to a shrine to get some more lore. Let us Even though we failed our country. last Just grave robber Laura, oh, of course, great. Who else is having a good time? Are you having a good time? Having a good time, having a good time. Get a wee bleed it on. God, I missed the one that I wanted it to hit, but he was in stealth anyway. Can we get a first turn kill here? No, because all the zombies are now going to go. I just realized the turn order in the corner was me and four zombies. Well, while they go, I'm going to hydrate because clearly I have free recording you to talk for a while. To, okay, cool. Stun. So I lost the turn. That's some of that, uh, that croaky throat here. <clears throat> Could be, of course, just the, the weather outside is frightful. I don't have a fire that is also then so delightful. So this is three, three, and three. I can't hit the guy in the back line. Big unfortunate, but I can take this guy out. 
Okay, you hit for three, but he dies to the bleed. Because zombies that bleed, we all know, it hurts them. Big stealth. So I put up a poll on the community tab, by the way. And if you are here with this, this reinvigoration of, of making content for both like, you know, gameplay stuff like this. And then if you are going to stick around for the Final Fantasy 14 stuff, if you've been around for the streams. All right, all right, all right. Large. Okay, okay. If you're around for the streams, of course, I am. I'm not going to keep posting all the content drops on the community tab. I was doing it at first to kind of like throw it all out there for two whole weeks that, you know, I'm making stuff. Things are happening. Putting everything here on YouTube. Well, I mean, there you go. But the community tab had a poll on it. I was sort of asking about, you know, what your thoughts are for <clears throat> these sort of gameplay streams. I said Darkest Dungeon 2 specifically, but that's also because this, this guy's just dusted. So this guy's also just dusted. Let's just ignore. Yeah. So we win. We win these. But I asked in this world, what your camera thoughts were. So most people just said, whatever I want to do. Other people said, doesn't need a camera. And others said as well that the small one in the corner here is fine. I know it kind of covers up a little bit of the frame. I wish that was like bleed heal, but it's not. Let's go with another big bleed token here. We're just kind of, we're just kind of moseying. So we'll leave the little camera in the corner here because this will also be for other videos as well. The other other video content style that I want to do may not have a camera at all, which is what I was also trying to, if, if it's like more, you know, talking, discussion-y, wow, everything I do is losing torch, so might as well, let's go for it. What's the, what's the worst that could happen? It is ours now. Combat item, adrenaline tonic, HP under 50% health, heals 50% HP, but gives you a stress. Really? Uh, what do we have? Spiked ball. You know what? You know what? That's that Instagram coming back in again. There we go. We're still good on space. We don't have any new trinkets, do we? No. And we're going to throw away this because that's not going to matter because we're going to lose this run most likely. Some sun resistance. Whatever. But yeah, the other content I'm going, I want to do is more just like discussion, you know, talking heads, but not on camera all the time because the gameplay in the background won't really matter. But, um, oh, great. More road combat. Those of humanity twisted by hopelessness. What I plan to have just... Like little mini podcasts where I just sort of talk and the gameplay is in the background and we talk about, you know, kind of like how I weaved in the Spider-Man stuff, but I will just keep going into like film jibber jab, essentially, even though I look over here now and I scrolled. <laughs> someone, someone zoom in enhance cliched. Someone zoom in enhance cliched on the green goblin glider image in the background of both of these posters it's the exact same mind you of course i i do not think it is a new costume i think it is the old costume which they could just reuse for william defoe's green goblin all it's changed is just the the color and contrast ratio because one is more blown out and the other is like in the dark sky it's so funny looking though man oh it's so good I mean, it's mostly terrible, but it's so good. Just absolutely hilarious. Just reusing. Just the asset reusal. I mean, hey. Movie companies have to create movie posters for so many different regions and demographics and different markets. So it's no surprise to me that they, they just reuse a bunch of stuff. Also, we are covered in the icky sticky right now. I do not like it. That's supposed to crit for like a bajillion damage and it's just not doing, not cutting the mustard. I mean, we're going through here. I probably should have tried popping that, uh, that huge heal. 
I may have another chance here. I will have another chance here. Because we're going to go for this heal. Very good. Added stealth. And then this is going to not put you on death's door. You know what? Drink that adrenaline tonic. You're going to gain a, a stress, but whatever, right? Look at that. And then you're going to hit this guy with one of these. 13. He's not low enough yet. Add that bleed. Make the... Okay. I was going to say, make the zombie Steady bleed. All right, cool. Healed myself for 20. Immediately get hit for a 9 plus the 2 coming in. Final round. Of course, you proc'd weakened again from sepsis. What's the chance on that? 15%. You proc'd like over and over and over again. All right, 6 HP. Point blank shot kills you. Okay. One less Very obstacle good. in our path. I'm surprised. Who's got the clock on their hand right now? We're still going. This run is still alive with two people. This shows you also how much... Ha it shows you the resiliency of the characters in this game. But also how strong you should be if you have four. But then how stupid it is that the game just sometimes yeets you from existence. You're just like, we got four people. We're super strong. Let's put up some blocks and dodge tokens. And then, you know, four or five turns of combat later, you lose a person. You're like, okay, cool. What's in the, what's in the stuff on the side of the road? Nothing that heals. Very cool. Nice. <laughs> We're going to grab that laudanum we've got because we've got a little bit of stress problem. We're also okay on inventory i guess we'll just keep every you know what everything we can keep from this run now we keep we keep those okay cool more combat great and it's a resistance encounter as well so it should be okay ish what was that noise more stress oh yeah mia got stressed out and then we have a question mark right now Our torch went out. Gargantuan enemies. Also cultists. Also crap. Uh, hmm. Well, we need to kill the cherubs. Hmm. Hmm. We do be needing to kill the cherubs. So... I would like to use a spiked ball, but it's going to not hit. <sighs> okay. 25% chance to bonk him. Bonk achieved. Brisk be be bedevilment? It wasn't bewilderment. Aw, oh, crap, man. Have some laudanum. Maybe your last drink before you go. Also, this guy went all the way to the back. So I can't even attack him. Oh, we'll take aim. This is not a road battle. It is a normal round battle. Because we did not actually run into something. It was just the torch going out. We do... If we win these, we do get... Excuse me, I have a dodge token. If we win these, we do get some torch back. Go for some laudanum. Very good. If we want to have a, a meltdown mid-combat here... I I mean, I don't know who else to... Both of you have dodge tokens. So just... Go for the one that has the most and hopefully you get lucky. I don't know. Just... Alright. Lucky get. Please no damage down. And blinded. Oh, great. This is why cherubs... Cherubs cherubs all right well i can hit you with this uh, everything's turning up millhouse but we literally went through both of your dodge tokens at the 50 50 chance so i'll i'll take that all right that's fair not really it's not actually fair but this game also isn't very fair in the first place are you kidding this 15% sepsis proc, I think it's a 15% chance to resist sepsis and a an freaking 85% chance to just be sepsisized. Because it was proc'd 
over and over and over again. Yep, that's fine. We're watching a slow descent into inevitability here, unless we get really lucky on this next go around. And we're not because we're weakened again. So this crit is only going to do poop damage. Yeah, that should have done so much more. But the constant weakened spam is real bad. Oh, stun proc is nice though. Huh. Huh. Stun proc is nice though. See, like this, that, this evangelical, e e evangelist should be dead this round because that damage should have been enough last round to uh to get him now we're just sitting on death's door until i can pop absinthe big bleed action going on though could very quite okay sure you know what just lower my death door resistance why don't you yep uh, weaken yep well didn't die stun proc on the guy that has the uh crit buff nice it's so weird. I'm living so long in a place that I definitely should not be with two people with no way to actually heal myself. They, they lost their um, you know, amorous relationship though. So that's hurting the healing potential here. You got two dodge tokens up. Let's go for a corpse clear and a heal. But there's some healing, right? Mostly it's just the grave robber. But like I had a team with four people and I will be double a strong with four people and I just got completely shellacked like the floor in your front room that's what shellacking is right it's when you like do stuff to hardwood floor or something it's some construction term I mean we're gonna have to go for something that you can actually hit but your crit is not going to do any damage because you're weakened. But doing a, a weakened crit into someone with a dodge token seems real dumb. Yep, we're just tanking that bleed. Good two damage. Solid. Real solid. Oh, okay. At least you may... Oh, what? A setback. Nothing more. A setback, says Wayne June. A setback, he says. High roll on that 10 damage. Very nice. Could have used that last turn. Oh, we finally... Yep. Complication. <clears throat> finally happened. And they're attacking the corpse, too! Wow. They're, they're all attacking the corpse. They do not want... Yeah. Well, now we're in a 1v3. The 1v3 begins. I only have so many absent <laughs> charges now because of weak don't please don't weaken me because they nerfed absent we've got oh he's done the one that i can't even hit anyway this is there's no way we're getting out of this one so just hold on to your butts yep 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 uh-huh sure very good through the fatigue. You procced a crit token because of the flame. Okay. It, okay. That's just damage, I guess. That's just like a bonk. A stun procced again. 15 damage. Where was that like four turns ago? All right. So this will be our... If we don't die to this, we have our... Let us hope they find peace. Ha! <laughs> Got it. All right. All right, game. Deepen your understanding. All right, game. Sure. And victory will come. <laughs> if we don't die here, immediately dies. <laughs> so stupid. But look how long those two lived with no support. It's so bonkers. How do you get to a point Stagnant in the earlier falling. levels where you have four people and you get totally crapped on where the game's just like, uh-uh-uh. Your sanctum adrift in this bituminous nightmare. 
you just it's so it's darkest dungeon it's darkest dungeon baby long enough all right let's let's form a team and and get this run underway for the next episode that comes out we'll we'll just we'll go forward all right may come all right let's let's actually go a little bit min maxi here let's check our our quirks so thick blooded but the braggart hmm i don't know i mean we're definitely gonna go Wow, oh, generous, but a bragger. So you're willing to give what is asked of them, but every victory, real or imagined, recounted for all time and time again. So you'll brag about being generous. We're trying the leper again. Adversity is the very essence of existence. We're trying the runaway again from the third slot, which is where they look like they really do well at. Uh, I think we'll go grave robber second slot, maybe? No, we want to like try to work on a character that already has some lore. So grave robber is one behind the highwayman. Highwayman's too forward here. So we'll have to go with the highwayman here. Haunted, harried, a fugitive seeking to outpace the past. And we'll go with the, the OG. The plague doctor. Let's check their traits to make sure we're not. Excuse me. That's because I have the window open in there and the, the shades open. So hard noggin, nice. Hemophilia, not nice. Quick draw, mm, yeah, sure. Anemic, not nice. Both of these are very similar debuffs. Stress knitter, the knitting needles fly when stress is high. But lazy, not motivated to do much at all. To do all that much. Little Les Dixia there for you. Um, so you'll stress knit, which is good, but you're lazy until that happens. Hey. Sure. So we're going to go with uh, Salt Drin here. As is as is tradition. Who's who's in Discord right now? Let's see. Oh, they're doing a Dune watch party in Discord right now. So let's see. This is gonna be. You know what? This is. Ari. First first. Letter, in their name, is an apostrophe. <laughs> this is gonna be Burb. Who recently came back to us after some time away and you know what let's bring back the tedicus with a j because it's a typo <laughs> the tedicus why not all right let's check our skills here we're definitely going to run invigorating vapor let's take off incision because blind is too good some ah blind is too good and that's fine. And we're going to go with uh, no pistol shot. We'll go with open vein here. And no tracking shot. You can change this whenever you want. I'm just sort of selecting things before we start here. And that's also fine. So salt, dren, Ari, burb, and the tedicus set out. How long will they last? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts? My first run of darkest dungeon 2 streamed two days in a row it's on the channel here in the vod section it's <clears throat> it was five or six hours learning the game reading everything going slow talking to chat the leaves it was over fall. two streams Never and grow again. went right to the end lost one person towards the end three man the end boss victory in boom Wealth like won the whole whole game the whole first run just right i mean every run since has been the youtube side of things and i have never gotten to the end ever we got some trinkets as well what we get uh sun resist that's gonna go on the tedicus and you know what you, put, you know actually you know what Disease resist on the front line. 
I don't know what it is. Is it, is it like machine learning? I know there's that, that the system in some video games where you, of study for either of us. if you, but it was there that we first noticed the pattern. I don't want to talk over the lore. If you play a game and only certain games have been known to have this system in it with that like machine learning sort of forgiveness. You play like a Mega Man level, right? And you get dunked on by the boss. When you go back to that boss, since the, the game is coded in a way to tweak your experience to slowly give you a handicap. So you, you're not just brick walled over and over and over and over again. I don't know how many, ooh, food and torch, food and torch, food and torch. You know what? Lead, lead by example, Burb. Yes. Unexpected find. Hey, slime mold. But then, so you get back to the boss again and you, you lose. You get back to the boss a third time, but suddenly their movement may be delayed or slowed. Like something tweaks in the game's code behind the scenes the to give you a slight handicap, a slight advantage. So you're not on the same Each boss over and over and over and over again. Failure. It is a promise to do better. So I wonder if that was sort of the first run and this was on the, obviously the launch the patch the and the game has been patched at least once majorly since the launch of Dark Ascension 2. So I don't know if that's just, oh, Searing Strike is only the two. So Firefly is the back line. Smokescreen is the front two. Oh, we may have messed that up. We just may need more abilities. Because I mean, we could you could firefly and just spam fire bombs. That's also fine. But so I don't know what that what that system is called. That gives you the option. You know what? You know what? That the game gives you a little bit of an advantage over time. And if that was what they put in for the first run of Darkest Dungeon Two, that guy's exploding. <laughs> Or if I just got incredibly lucky, I could have just gotten incredibly lucky, A promising development. which could have happened. But I don't know if that was the case. I think it was just, just how that first run went. Maybe I was just, I was taking a lot more time. I am trying to keep the gameplay flowing here as I just, you know, yammer on about whatever. Thank you, Mr. Wayne June. Can you get some more items here? There is so much worse in store. Yes, I, uh huh. You know what? We're going to do. We might do a ranged highwayman this build. I mean, you can still open vein from the third rank. You can still wicked slice from the third rank, actually. So you can just do this. Oh, well, in that case, if Burb is moving up, disease resist for there. Buff bleed resist. Why not? So pistol shot, unless you really make a ranged highwayman feels really weak. Point blank's not going to happen here, though. So we'll put that on just in case there's some backline shenanery. Because you'll have to duelist advanced multiple times to make point blank shot work right now. But we are at the inn, and here we are. Minus five leagues to inn, even though we're in front of it. So wouldn't it still whatever? That still looks kind of buggy. Your distance to the location. The fire is lit. The table is set. The inn awaits its favorite guests. Very good. Well, we'll end this Monday episode here. Thank you all very much or watching and hanging out, hit that like button. If you enjoy this series or anything else on the YouTube channel, let me know down below the sort of questionary nonsense that I asked during the episode. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already become a member. If you want to support my content directly, check out the live streams. I'll always schedule them advanced and ahead of time. And then if you want to join the discord, if you are haven't already, then uh, I'll see you there. But that's that. I'll see you uh, in a day or two. I'm not sure yet. We'll see.